Okay, hope that's better. Um, all right, so before I get into this video, um, hey VC, what's up? What's going on? Now, there's a couple of things first. Slay Talica, thirty one ninety five. That's S L A Y T A L L I C A, three one nine five. Um, new guy with heavy metal vinyl. Got a few uh, videos up and uh, some really interesting stuff. Um, saw his first video. Very cool collection with uh, old school stuff, metal stuff, um, got some really cool Metallica pieces, and a really cool autographed Slayer piece, which is awesome. And uh, I've been meaning to, this kind of stuff has, has slipped my mind, um, but uh, and I keep forgetting to mention this, but um, I am on Facebook, so if anybody wants to contact me through Facebook to make things maybe a little bit easier than the messaging system here on YouTube, uh, the page is facebook.com uh, backslash cultleader1 million. And uh, that's another way to uh, get in contact with me. Okay, so on to... Um, this uh, video um, on my old channel uh, I had posted um, before I went to the Big Four in Indio I had pretty much I believe pretty much if not all of my uh, Big Four collection and so I am going to put that back up. Uh, I got to do a new video though for parts of the collection because one, it's kind of hard to find because I've got hundreds of videos that I have saved that I don't have up yet um, from old channels and, and old videos and a bunch of other stuff. But the other thing was when I did it the first time, I didn't have any vinyl for one of those bands. Now I have some vinyl to show so I can do it a little bit better since this is a music channel but mostly for vinyl. So let's get into that. The first band that I'm going to do, because uh, it will be a real quick video, is uh, Anthrax. Um, definitely, I believe, underrated. Uh, getting more attention now uh, with the big four shows um, and deservedly so so but let's get in and get to it um, now both these pieces I picked up uh, in Seattle um, I'm not sure the title of the video but there are you will see both of these pieces um, in the two or three uh, video update from Seattle, I'm not sure what I called them, um, but yeah, you can you can find them. Um, but anyway, first up is uh, an Anthrax picture disc. I don't know. There you go. Um, at least I can see it. Uh, I don't know about you guys. Uh, this was a record store day release um, from 2010. Um, I picked this up, like I said, in Seattle. Um, at the end of August um, last year and this is um, live from uh, Sonosphere and there's the reverse really cool um, this is actually still sealed and it will remain that way I've had a bit of a bad experience with some picture discs so at the moment, I'm not playing any because the experience that I had with uh, one of the Slayer Collector's Edition re-releases from Metal Blade, they don't play very well. 
Um, and I've said this before on this channel, but they got I got through like halfway through the first song and then it quit playing. So I won't play picture discs. Um, collect a few of them, um, but no plans on on spinning any more of them. Okay. Um, and then the last piece for uh, Anthrax final that I got is the 25th anniversary edition of Fistful of Metal, Anthrax's debut album. Um, this is through, obviously, uh, Megaforce. And um, this version includes Armed and Dangerous. Uh, that EP, and this is on uh, triple ten-inch vinyl. Uh, again, this is actually still still sealed. Again, um, you know, have a few ten-inch vinyl, um, no problems playing them. I just haven't um, yet, but yeah. Uh, interesting to note that I've only got a handful of 10 inch records and they're all from members of the big four which I thought was pretty interesting and of course that'll come out um, when I get through with this collection um, so that's definitely pretty cool um, but anyway yeah here we go with this one and here's the reverse this was actually the last copy they had um, at this store so that was pretty cool and I got this at a discount all right so pretty much you've gone through um, everything with the anthrax and a couple of other things I'm probably now since the Slayer stuff is pretty much up as far as studio stuff goes, um, I'll move on to probably doing the Megadeth stuff first, or Metallica. I, I I'm not really sure. Um, I've just I've got to find everything, and the Metallica one was done in like three or four parts, and some new pieces. In fact, there's at least there's one Metallica piece I know that was not included, so I may actually have to end up reshooting everything with the Metallica stuff, which will be quite an undertaking. Um, because there's a lot of stuff. Um, and again, I'm not sure, I don't remember if I did CD and vinyl, or because I've got vinyl, CDs, DVDs, t-shirts, you know, the works. So I don't know, I have to find, and I have to find the videos I shot before and decide if I want to keep those videos and put them back up, redo them in the same format or change the format. I don't know. I have to make the decision. And so that'll be upcoming. Uh, the rest of the Slayer collection will be up on the other channel. And along with, again, I have decided I got new pieces coming. I don't know if they'll be on both channels. Maybe I don't, I don't know. Uh, probably just this is one over anyway. Uh, yeah. So in summation, I I know I'm starting to ramble, but uh, check out Slay Talica, thirty one ninety five. Uh, awesome channel. Show them some support. Peace.